The next question that I want to tackle is, should you take this course? The reason I want to answer this question is because, like I mentioned, currently, as I'm recording this video, Angular 1.x is the latest stable version. But Angular 2 is just around the corner. So which one do you want to learn? Do you want to learn Angular 1 or do you want to learn Angular 2? The reason it's an even more important decision to make is because Angular 2 is not backward compatible. Angular 2 has its own syntax, its own way of doing things. The fundamental concepts are kind of the same, but the way to write applications is very different. So you have to make a choice if you want to learn Angular 1 or if you want to learn Angular 2. As you're watching this video, I'm guessing a few days or a few weeks from now, this would have been different. Probably Angular 2 would have been released and Angular 1 is no longer the latest stable version. So it's an important question for you to tackle. And uh, there are a couple of considerations. There are a couple of uh, groups of people who would want to learn Angular 1 versus Angular 2. And I'm going to cover that now. So what are the considerations? Why would you want to learn Angular 1 today? The first is if you are tasked with working on an Angular 1 code base. Angular 1 is a very, very popular framework. There have been a lot of companies, a lot of organizations, a lot of teams that have adapted Angular 1. They have applications that are running in production today which use Angular 1. And if you happen to be working for one of those companies or if you happen to work on a code base that uses Angular 1, well, you have no choice but to learn it. And uh, hopefully this course is going to help you get there so that you're comfortable maintaining the code base and also adding new code to that code base. Secondly, if you're involved in migrating code from Angular 1 to Angular 2, again, there's a lot of code out there with Angular 1. And Angular 2 is coming up, and like I mentioned, they're not backward compatible. So let's say you are working on one of those teams, and you have been tasked with migrating the code to Angular 2. You also need to know what Angular 1 is, apart from learning Angular 2. So this is another reason why you would want to take this course, so that you kind of get an idea of what Angular 1 is. I should, however, let you know that if you're starting from the scratch, if you're writing a new application from the scratch, the reasons to use Angular 1 are diminishing day by day. Angular 2 is getting more and more stable, so you might want to consider using Angular 2 if you're writing something from the scratch, right? You have a clean slate, you're building something new. However, if you have code base that's already using Angular 1, then this course would be perfect for you. It's going to get you started. It's going to help you understand what that code is doing, and it's going to help you understand the Angular 1 concepts.